Good morning everyone, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, please smash that like button, please do subscribe. It's Monday morning. Good morning. Uh, the weather is a bit dull today, I think it'll be a bit cooler. Um, the sun isn't out this morning. Alexa, good morning. Good morning. Stevie Wonder was born on this day in 1950. His remarkable career began at age 11 when he signed with a Motown label. Happy birthday to him. Happy birthday to him. Happy birthday, etc. So Stevie Wonder's 74 years old. The blind guy, black singer, Stevie Wonder, is 74. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Black singer. Brilliant, talented, blind, black, male singer. Alexa, what's the time, please? The time is 8.18 a.m. Alexa, what's the date today? Today is Monday the 13th of May. Alexa, what's the weather outlook? Alexa, the weather. Right now in Rochester, it's 12 degrees Celsius with partly sunny skies. Today's forecast has lots of clouds, with a high of 19 degrees and a low of 12 degrees. Right, guys. Alexa, can you tell me a joke? How many software developers does it take to change a light bulb? Zero. A light bulb is a hardware problem. Alexa, whose birthday is it today? Today's famous birthdays include the American rapper and record executive from Virginia Pusha T, Irish singer-songwriter Johnny Logan, American musician Stevie Wonder, Belgian Association football player Romelu Lukaku, and American actor Harvey Keitel. So, let's hope today is better than yesterday. I really do. Well, the weather is a bit cooler. It might dampen their <laughs> perverted ways. So, um, yeah, I managed to get to sleep last night. And as I predicted, I had a nightmare about three or four in the morning. I know when I'm going to have a nightmare. That man's face last night, I almost bumped into, was scary. Scary for anybody. So are they going to play this game again today? Right. Making out I'm a hideously ugly person and frighten the crap out of me. Are they going to do that today, are they? Yeah, you keep fighting. Someone's trying to stop me doing my videos. By any means, fair or foul. Right, so I'm just going to get my um, watering can. A watering can. Life is hard enough without bullies being stupid. a bit noisier today. Sunday's quiet, isn't it? Ish. Rose plants coming along.
Also yesterday triggered memories, more memories of abuse that I had as a child and um, therapy should be done in a professional manner. You shouldn't make people go through what I went through yesterday. It's not funny. A very, very, very... Also, if you go back to when I, the internet first came out, 2000, 2001, two, it was quite prominent coming out, the internet, the web, and people were using it, weren't they? So you're just testing it out, getting used to it. And of course, I got introduced to it by my ex-husband who told me to go into this um, go into this chat room. And I met one of the most nastiest, evilest people in there. I don't know who it was. And they started on me. This was 2002 just started on me, telling me my life was shit, um, that, oh, I haven't been in trouble with the police, I really haven't got very much, oh, that's boring. And they started um, encouraging me to do bad stuff. And I ended up losing everything I had to an internet bully. But my ex-husband had told me to go in there to make friends. I didn't make friends. I'm, I mean, there was a monster in there, a pervert, a monster. And gradually my life crumbled before my very eyes to pieces. I lost everything. I lost my home, my kids, my life. To an in internet pervert. All it was back in the day was I want some photographs. And I thought someone was playing games. I told them I was married as well. I was encouraged to go in there. So instead of trusting my own instincts and saying no and sticking to no, I went into a chat room and I met a very nasty individual. A spiteful, cruel, horrible person that tried to convince me that my life was worthless and so was everything in it. Um, so... When you were, I experimented with the internet, I experimented with it. And um, I went into MSN Messenger. And there was a group of lads in there. Some of them had the orange hair. And I thought my husband was at work, my ex-husband. I don't know what he was doing. I don't know what was going on, but he was the one that encouraged me to go into this internet. And I go into MS MSN Messenger. I tell these guys I'm married, and I'm just after making friends. And um, they start to exposing themselves, exposing themselves. And this one guy was an old man, old guy. Um, you've got to tie this in with what my mother was saying about my father Derek, you see. She said my father Derek was a fairy, a homosexual. My father Derek, she said he, he likes men and women. So you've got to tie it in. I didn't know what was going down on in Kent with my mum and dad in 2002. I was up in Gloucestershire. So you've got to tie this all in. So my how I got wrapped up in my dad's affairs, I don't know, because I was living in Gloucestershire. Anyway, this one bloke must have been about 70, 70. I was 34. 34 and he just appeared in the internet an old man completely naked I, I walked into this chat room and there was this old man in there butt naked everything showing very overweight old man 
I was 34 years old, I think I was scarred for life, mentally scarred. I think these guys were homosexuals. My mum and dad had a computer down in Kent. Someone was communicating through me through the internet and being very cruel and nasty. Since 2002 this has been going on. 22 years. That man that exposed himself to me way back when I was 34 is probably dead now. Dead. Um, I don't go into chat rooms anymore. That's where it all began, in the chat room. 2002 in the internet up in Gloucestershire. That's where it started. And of course, back then, I'd never heard of paedophiles. I'd had a sheltered life. My dad didn't let me do anything. He didn't let me make friends or, or have boyfriends or anything. So when I left home to get married, I literally had to run away from home because my dad was being suggestive towards me. I had to run away from home when I was 18, away from my father, because he was making improper suggestions and I couldn't handle it. Right? Right? I didn't know what a paedophile was. I, I know, what, know what my dad was doing to me was bloody wrong. Of course I did. And you know, I get memories now and then of what my, where my dad took me. I know he took me to Lewisham swimming baths with my sister. And there was sexual abuse going on in those swimming baths. Because me and my sister were little. I think my sister must have been about four or five and I was 11 or 12. And there was sexual abuse going on in the Lewisham swimming baths. Up in London. Sexual abuse to minors came back to me yesterday just by seeing that bloke's face, that drunken bloke's horrible face coming towards me. I have flashbacks. And therapy should be done in a secure, safe environment with a qualified psychiatrist or a therapist. Somebody shouldn't be doing their home therapies. It could be dangerous. I need proper care and counselling and pro proper psychiatric help. Not some unknown person trying to initiate therapy on me. Dangerous. For all I know, those blokes could have attacked me, could have been real and I could have been attacked and raped or something by, by, by drunks. It's frightening. I have witnessed horrific acts of abuse towards myself and towards others and you need professional help and they won't give me professional help and support. So every so often I get flashbacks and they're horrendous, they're frightening and I'm on my own and it's not nice. The internet is not safe. Social media is not safe. We've lost children to suicide. Children. It should be... Children shouldn't be able to go into sites that they shouldn't, shouldn't be able to go into. I think chat rooms are dangerous. I think that dating sites uh, should be restricted. 
to to teenagers you know what how are kids getting into dating sites what are their parents doing what are their parents doing while a kid is mucking about in an adult dating site what's going on in this world you think you're talking to adults I mean TikTok teenagers threatening adults teenagers I'm just, I know people bully, I know it's something that the world will never get rid of because while there's people about there's always going to be hate towards others, right, but really yesterday was cruel, beyond cruel and I had food and you've seen that I've got money so the opposite flats were having a great old time yesterday taking the fucking piss out of me they really were I've never been a delivery driver never I can't ride a bicycle I don't drive a car so fancy cars yeah wonderful they break down they uh, they cost money they're a pointless waste of time for me because I can't drive so if you just want to, if you want to show off your flash car and pull your fucking uh, roof down and show off, um, it makes no difference to me. I couldn't care less. I want to make a change in this world and a fucking flash car and a woman with tight boobs and blonde hair doesn't do anything for me, I'm afraid. <laughs> it doesn't. That's not going to change the world, is it? A flash car and a... And, and a what? So... Everyone has their opinion of good looking. There's a there's a guy that's having a baby with an old woman and he loves her. Fair play to him. Each to their own. But what's attractive to someone is not attractive to someone else. So it's no good stuffing uh, stuffing beautiful women in my face. I couldn't care less. You only get one life and you've got the life and the body that you've got, not what they've got. You ain't got their face. You haven't got their, what they've got. So fuck them. They're, they're trying to thrust themselves into my life, right? Hooting their cars, showing off just to draw attention to themselves because they want their car or whatever on YouTube. They don't care about me and what I'm going through and what my channel's promoting. They're just making twats of themselves so they can appear on my YouTube channel. They don't care about me. These fuckers eat in front of your face. They stuff their ugly, ugly gobs in front of your face. They do. They, they don't care about me. And they want to copy. They want to copy me, they want to copy my clothes, they want, they want to be me, but they can't because they're not me. And however much they try, man, woman, beast, whatever, you can't be me. You're not me. It's alright copying clothing, it's alright supporting somebody. When it's getting to the point where someone wants to be you and keep you inside your flat and be you... Oh, you shouldn't be wearing that dress. Don't wear that. Don't do this. Trying to put me down so I stay indoors so they can thieve everything off me. Take my identity and fucking steal everything while I'm fucking sat indoors. Fuck off. You don't know how strong I bloody am. You want to you want to take the piss, right? The piss. Oh, this is a wig, is it? The lady downstairs has got a wig. She's got a a bob wig. Yeah, there is a lady in the flats with a wig. It's not me though. 
and my mum doesn't live with me. That lady downstairs has got her daughter living with her. I, I, my mum doesn't live with me, I live by myself. I'm going to get on with the rest of my day, right? Take the piss out of me all you like. Dress up men in shorts and fucking t-shirts with bald heads. Um, you do what you like. I really don't care about any of the bullies. They're just wannabes. They never will be. They want to be. See you later. <laughs>